Could silver prices finally be about to break out? Joining me today is Peter Hug, Global Trading Director over at Kitco Metals. Uh, Pete, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure. So, you know, we were talking offline and you were saying, look, something could really be shaping up and happening finally in the silver market. What are you seeing? Well, I mean, if you just look at the parameters of the last two days, gold uh, yesterday uh, uh, again was testing the 1420 range. Uh, and, and, you know, our, our sort of scenario on gold uh, that we need 1422 to break on a close uh, for the next leg up. So we've been selling in, into the 1420 area and buying into the low 1400s. Uh, but yesterday with gold at 1418, silver was trading down at uh, approximately 1520, 25 range. Today, gold's down $10, currently trading about $14.09, and silver's trading at uh, $15.60. So it's up about $0.35 cents with gold down 10 So I think people are starting to catch on to the fact uh, that if this market is overall in a bullish trend, which I do believe it is, uh, that silver is, is extremely undervalued relative to gold. And uh, now we're starting to see some retail demand coming into the silver market. Peter, as you know, we've had a lot of guests on who've said, look, when silver moves and start to, starts to move, it can be way more explosive than gold. Do you agree with that? I mean, just based on historical trends, uh, in an uptrend market, uh, silver tends to outperform gold as it does uh, outperform gold on a downside market. Uh, it just, uh, it, it, the leverage on silver to gold, it just tends to uh, exasperate the move, whether the market's in a bullish phase or in a bearish phase. Gold, uh, silver always tends to, on a percentage basis, outperform gold, whether it's moving higher or lower, depending on, what, yeah, obviously, the market trend. You know, just taking an overall market view here, Pete, you know, we have gold up, cryptos up, bonds up, equities making new highs every day here. Uh, does that worry you? I think the equity market is a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit frothy right now. So I'm a little concerned about the equity market. The gold market, again, you know, if you recall, uh, we've been fairly consistent for the past two months. We've been very constructive this market for a number of reasons. One, we don't think the Fed is going to be aggressive on their interest rate cut in July. We don't think there's a half a percent in this market. We think maybe a quarter percent. That's already factored in. Uh, but I think the general trend of the central banks globally is for an easier monetary policy, which will be beneficial for the metals. The other thing, which is, is, is just more subtle, is that we Retail has been selling into this strength uh, from $1,260 on gold and silver at $1,440. They have not been engaged on the long side. They've been selling physical metal into this market. And a lot of, uh, of, uh, of my uh, followers, I guess, if you want to call them that, uh, uh, think that uh, what I'm saying is, is utter nonsense. Uh, they think it's all paper selling, but it isn't. Because if you look at the physical premiums on the gold and silver market from the dealers, most dealers are paying uh, flat to discounts on gold coins, which indicates that there is still volumes of, of uh, physical metal coming into the market. And if you recall what I said about three or four weeks ago, as long as retail is selling, I'm constructive this market. Mm -hmm. Retail tends to be uh, a good contrarian indicator, and they're still selling into strength. And as long as 1397 holds on gold, I'm constructive. And if we can get a we can get that close over 1422, I think gold's going to pop another fifty dollars. And then, based on where silver is now starting to generate interest, that's at least another dollar to two dollars in the silver price. All right, Peter Hug, good thoughts uh, from you today. And you don't have followers; you have diehard fans, Peter Hug. Diehard fans. Then. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll go with that. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, Pete. We'll talk soon. My pleasure. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco News. We will be back tomorrow. In the meantime, if you have any comments or questions, tweet me at Daniela Camboni.